Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from uh, from us. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to do camera shake. Um, it's a pretty easy tutorial, um, but and it's going to be fairly quick. But this is what we're going for. So I'll just show you what this is. It's a test video we've done. Okay. So basically, that video was fairly quick to add camera shake to. We've done it in two places. I'll just open up um, After Effects here. And you load your main footage in, so we're going to do that now. And then bring it down to your timeline down the bottom. Okay, so here's our main footage. Here are the birds flying. It's Eureka Tower in Melbourne, actually. And the explosion starts about here, it's just behind the building. This is just for a test video we're doing just for this tutorial but we're probably going to blow this whole tower up in another video just for the sheer fun of it. Okay, so we've got, uh, you go to the point where your explosion starts or your uh, impact on your video starts or any, any part where you would think there would be camera shake. You go to the starting point of that, click on the arrow over the, over the left hand side here and click, go down to the position, click the stopwatch and the explosion goes to about here. So we'll put another point on the position over here. So now you've got two points. So what you do is you hold down your left mouse and just drag across just those two points so they're both highlighted. Now the right hand side here you select Wiggler. Now if it's not there you can go up to the window here and click on Workspace. Sorry actually just scroll down and make sure the Wiggler is ticked. Okay. Now we're going to select Jagged here because it's quite rough, not smooth. It might be smooth by default, but we'll select Jagged. Leave Spatial Path as a standard. And in this case, we're going to go to the Frequency. Now the Frequency is how many times it moves in a second. And the Magnitude is how, how much it moves. So in this case, we're probably going to up that to 5 and go Apply. Now what that does, that gives you movement in your footage. So just get this point here and just click it out a little bit so it matches the rest so it's even okay so now you've got this footage where it shakes now obviously it wouldn't stop shaking now we'll sort of rumble along for the rest of this video so we're just going to go to here click the position point again scroll it right to the end and click the position point again and then we're just going to select those two points again and change this the magnitude to two now we've got two sets of movement. The first one is, is much more intense and then it's just sort of a shake, a faint shake all the way through. Now there's a few things wrong with this. First of all, if you just press play, you'll see that it just bounces around. It looks quite bad. Also you get black borders around the side. Now if I change that, if I change that magnitude to 10, then those black borders will be very large because the footage will be shaking more. So what we do to get rid of those black borders is we just go see if you can see the black border there. You go to effect, scroll down to stylize, and click on motion tile. Now you've got an output width and an output height. So what you want to do is you want to make your output width plus on top of 100. So your magnitude, the maximum magnitude on this particular video was 5. So you change your output width to 105 and your output height to 105. As you can see, you've got this weird kind of footage on the outside there. Then you select mirror, edge, mirror edges. Now it's not perfect. What it's actually doing is actually mirroring the footage right before the edge, but it takes away that black. So if you look at it very closely along here, you'll see that the area, the mirror is, sorry, the edge is mirrored. But in this case, you can't tell. And generally, you won't be able to tell because it's um, it's so slight and it all happens at once. No one's looking at the edge of your footage, they're looking at what's happening where the explosion or the impact is happening. Okay, so now it's looking much better. We've got rid of those black borders, but it's still a bit rough. So what we do here is we now select the, uh, the motion blur icon on your footage, and we also select it for your timeline, for the actual project. So now when you watch it, you've got a bit of blur involved as well. So when you render that out, you will actually have some motion blur. So it'll actually blur between frames and look a lot smoother than it does right this second. So it's a pretty simple video. 
I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us, at, at, uh, inbox us or make a comment or whatever you like. And like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. I hope this helped everybody. Bye.